you know, you get it all the time. Well, you look well, Tony, mm. but <laughs> there's a lot going on up there, you know, and it's... Um, you get e- easily confused, I'd say, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, I yes. think people don't appreciate that. My second stroke um, has affected me totally different. Um, I can't get my words out sometimes, especially when I'm tired. Yes, yes. I can read sentences, but wouldn't be able to read a book. Yes. Which was a, yeah, a huge yes, blow for Dad, yes. because he, he loved reading. Well, Dad used to be a teacher, so... I used to like to talk a lot. Um, I've got more confidence now, but um, one good thing is you listen more. <laughs> I mean, you go on somebody asks a name, and you go blank, but of course about 20 minutes later you can remember the name, but you just can't remember at the time. I find I can't read a book. I can't concentrate on a book. I can look at magazines and read those, but I couldn't sit and read a book. I try, but all the words seem to go into one. I can't, my concentration's not so good. I, the words in, on, and, the wee words that don't mean anything usually to people, that was um, hard for me because they, they don't really have a meaning. I've lost my independence, obviously. It's hard to explain that um, you, I have a stroke. Until I open my mouth, people don't really know that I had a stroke. I can hear all, feel it on my brain, but I can't speak it. I can't. They can't. Sometimes I can't talk. I mumble, muddle about a lot, and sometimes it is. I mean, sometimes I write a check five times. He tries to hide it, but it really does affect him. He gets very emotional. Um, gets fed up with himself, naturally. You know, he used to be the one that was kind of um, in charge, you know. And always making jokes, happy person. And he's not like that now. He's happy, I think, in his own way, but not, not like he used to be. I think you feel uncomfortable when people can't understand you, don't you? Yes. Even if it's close friends. Um, yes. Like I said, Dad's writing is very limited, so he finds it. I think that makes you feel very uncomfortable yes, sometimes. Yes, yes, yes. We've got no physical side to our marriage now. You know, which we both enjoyed before. I can't have any... I haven't any feeling in my right hand, so it's difficult to fumble in your purse because you can never get the mouth, you know? I always had to count and so on and had to count very well. And, you know, when I'm counting up, I lose it completely, you know, after a while. I said to Jill, a good day for me is if I can do my bra up and put my earrings in, you know, first time. I was determined to try and count again and try and read again. I think most GPs don't really understand what a stroke is and they don't really know what to do with you. I think then a lot of the nursing staff don't appreciate that because of the stroke, um, Dad's understanding is very sort of confused. They, they don't seem to understand that, they think it's just a physical thing. Somebody would come and see him in hospital and he'd burst into tears and we, I said, I don't know if I can cope with this. But now I realise it is a part of stroke and he's learnt to control that a little bit and some things will start him off, particularly like the Jubilee and I suppose he's thinking back, you know, to different times. And I think people are only trying to help and I understand that but it, it is very hard when they don't see how much work the carer is actually putting in mentally, I think, yeah. not just physically. You know, she has good days where she is almost not, say, back to normal, but far on all cylinders. Then other days, um, she's just not there at all. So it's very strange. <laughs>